Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ogoview, where I like to talk about the games I played on my channel. And in this one we're going to talk about something very special to me, Shogun 2, the first ever let's play I did on PC. This game from Creative Assembly is quite special to me in another way as well. As I mentioned in my playthrough, this game is what brought me into the world of Let's Plays. I did watch YouTube already and a lot of video game related content back then, but no Let's Plays. I can't tell you why, I just didn't want to back then. After I finished in university and got my first job, I got a new PC too, since that was something I wanted to have for quite some time. And some months later, I found the collector's edition of Shogun 2 in a local store for quite cheap. I didn't even knew anything about it back then. I had played the first Shogun and really liked it back in the day and also the first Rome Total War. But after some time, with my laptop back in the day becoming more and more obsolete, I had forgotten about these games since I wasn't able to play them. Oh, worst possible point. Wait, do I... Ah, wrong one. As for the graphics of Shogun 2, I think even by today's standards, it's a very beautiful game and has a very nice, definitely Japanese inspired art direction and style, which are all exactly what you would expect from a game like this. I do think the plot effects are a bit over the top sometimes, but that does invoke some nice references to samurai movies who can do that as well. The same can be said about the sound of music, everything has this Eastern Asian touch, if you don't mind me saying it like this. I don't want to be racist here. I mean that the way the sounds are made and the music instruments are all used to invoke exactly that Japanese feeling and they think they are doing it really well. Some might not like the voices you can hear in game for the heavy Japanese accent or might think it's just outright racist, but to be honest I love the way they did it in here. I could hear my lord a glorious victory will soon be yours or shameful display all day, believe me. I mean... As for the gameplay, I really enjoy the Total War formula and the different iterations that I played. I know this might be heresy to some people, but I really think that Total War games all play quite similar on the battlefield. And that is a good thing. They are, after all, strategy games that try to emulate realistic behavior in battle, calculating in the background if the moral of a unit is so low they run away, or if the last arrow volley hit and did kill everyone from a unit, etc. But there has to be some degree of similarity between the games, at least in my opinion. And yes, even the Warhammer entries in the Total War franchise do that. No, it's not realistic to fight an undead army, for example, but if you could, and magic would be a thing in the way it is in those games, how would everything act out, etc. See? Even in those fantasy games, the Total War series try to emulate the feeling of being a general in a battle, with at least some degree of realism, no matter in what world and setting. That was quite expensive. Wait. Oh. I have lost... Okay, so I will have to get more rice. Otherwise, we'll have quite a problem. Well, although technically, is this enough now? You might already know that at the end, after conquering a certain percentage of land and having a daimyo, your leader to be more specific, with a high honor level and some other factors, the realm divide status is triggered. Now everyone is out for you, also your allies. And the state is also triggered once you become Shogun yourself. Which is possible in certain conditions to trigger before you trigger the realm divide. I managed to that in my playthrough so you can see it there for yourself. And you can't do anything to change this. You will lose any ally you had. Anyone. So better be prepared for that. And I just don't think this is realistic. Yes, most of the other clans would try to kill you once you are so powerful. That's even historically accurate. But never did everyone try to kill a big family, especially when they seem to be on the winning side.
So there are some things to improve, yes, but to be honest, I don't care. And I really enjoy the game the way it is, even when it's flaws and kinks. I think it gives the game its own charm and the important part, the action on the battlefield, is just great. But be aware of the game's shortcomings in some areas. If it really is your first time playing and you walk into the realm throughout unexpectedly, well, that's gonna be some fun times, am I right? The story of the game is, well, I don't think you can say much about it, since it's about you choosing a family and leading that family to victory. There isn't a real story here. But the game doesn't need that. The story is how you defeated the AI, how it screwed you over, how you used different tactics to become the Shogun of Japan. And how the agents in Shogun 2 can be very powerful. You see that max level castle there? You see my mid-level ninja there? Well, if the castle gates are open, the high walls and many towers don't worry me as much. Well, but I digress. That's tactics in this game. Because I was looking for uh, strategies seven years ago when I bought the uh, collector's edition with Takeda Shingen, a little statue. And so I wanted to, to have my first PC-related Let's Play. The other ones are uh, with consoles. I wanted it to be this one. Uh, because it means so much to me. As for achievements or trophies, well, since PC games either don't have any, or a couple hundred of them, I'm looking at you, Steam achievements, I think I will skip this category on PC. As for the DLC, most are just new clans as well as two new scenarios. So if you're interested into the game, just get them. I don't think you can do any wrong there. And also get the blood patch when you're at it. I think it's two to three bucks. So do I recommend the game for everyone? Well, no, to be honest. I can see how people might not like the game since it is a strategy game after all. So if it is not your cup of tea, then move on, it's fine. And there are other games out there just for you. If you don't know if you like strategy games or you know already, but don't really like them, but this one has something special, I suggest wait for a sale and then only get the base game to get a feel for it. Well, watching a let's play might help you too, so maybe that's enough to help you make a decision on buying this beautiful, stunning masterpiece of a game. Or not. So this was my overview and Takeda Shingen and I want to say thank you very much for watching. We hope you liked what you've seen and we hope you subscribe, like, share all the jazz, helps the channel grow, makes us happy. And I hope I see you again in the next episode of either Ogoview or Ogo Power. Bye bye.